Welcome to our weekly devotions. Uh, today is Juneteenth. Some of you may already know this, uh, but we celebrate Juneteenth as a, a nation now uh, to celebrate uh, June 19th, uh, 1865, when Texas became the final state uh, in the United States that finally abolished slavery officially. Uh, and uh, that was three years after Abraham Lincoln had to uh, sign the Emancipation Proclamation, but of course the war was still going on and it took a while for states uh, to come up to the standard that was needed. Uh, that represents uh, a, a lot of work and hard struggle for countless people. One of the most famous though, of course, is Frederick Douglass. Frederick Douglass himself was a former slave who longed for freedom until he ran. And he ran up north uh, and as an escape slave, established a life as a free man in the north and not only uh, took care of himself, but thought of his sisters and brothers who were still in slavery. And so he became a famous orator, speaking out against the horrors of slavery. Uh, but here's a quote from him that I, I, I find very interesting. Frederick Douglass wrote, I prayed for 20 years, but received no answer until I prayed with my legs. I prayed for 20 years, but received no answer until I prayed with my legs. You know, that quote uh, reminds me of the book of James chapter 2, beginning at verse 14. See if you can hear the similarity. My sisters and brothers, what good is it for someone to say that they have faith if their actions do not prove it? Can that faith save them? Suppose there are brothers or sisters who need clothes and don't have enough to eat. What good is there in saying to them, God bless you, keep warm and eat well, if you don't give them the necessities of life? So it is with faith. If it is alone and includes no actions, then it is dead. Wow. It is an important reminder to us that um, that our faith always calls for action. And to starve it of action is to starve it of its saving power, not only for others, but for ourselves. All those who struggled uh, uh, those uh, centuries, decades ago for, uh, for freedom, some of them never saw that freedom in their lifetime, but they acted on their faith. They acted on their faith and they were saved. And so we too are at the same point where our faith calls us to love our neighbor as ourself, uh, to care for those who are under the boot of pain and suffering. We don't always agree on what that right thing should be, but we all agree uh, that we should act on our faith because whether or not our actions succeed it is acting in our faith where we discover our salvation. Please enjoy the music video to follow. This day has challenged us to make good trouble, to make good trouble, to make good trouble. This day has challenged us to make good trouble, to make this world a better place. This day has challenged us to make good trouble, to make good trouble, to make good trouble. This day has challenged us to make good trouble, to make this world
to make